Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to day 158 of trying a new makeup product every day. Today, I'm gonna to be trying out the new NYX Away We Glow Strobing Cream. So I picked this up in my recent NYX haul, so I'll link that video down below if you haven't seen it yet. And I chose this in the shade Bright Star. It actually comes in two different shades. The other one is more of a pinky color. This retails for $16 and it's cruelty free because NYX is a cruelty free brand. So this claims to be moisturizing and illuminating. So I have no makeup on my face right now and I'm going to try and apply this before my foundation so then we can really see how it looks on the skin but then I'm also going to apply foundation on top of it so then we can see how the glow looks. I feel like this is a really big bottle. We'll see if this actually like a little goes a long way if this actually will last a while but right off the bat I'm like wow this is a lot of like strobing cream. I'm just gonna pump a little onto the back of my hand and it's nice that it has a squeeze tube but also a pump. I'm seeing that this has some really nice gold reflection to it. Like it comes out looking very white. I definitely love that this claims to be moisturizing because I have such dry skin in parts of my face. Other parts of my face get oily. So I definitely have like combination skin, but I do really like to keep my skin hydrated. Wow though, the glow of this is very prevalent. Like it has such beautiful glow already. Oh my gosh, look at the sheen on my skin right now. I didn't even use an entire pump and my face is very glowy, shiny. Like I definitely don't think that I would wear this alone without foundation because I feel like it kind of just makes my skin look greasy and a little bit like the Tin Man. <laughs> but I'm very excited to see how this looks under my makeup. So it does just have like the consistency of a moisturizer and it does feel very comfortable and moisturizing on my skin. It's drying down, so it really does feel more like a moisturizer than a primer. But like up close, it has very like tiny gold shimmer sparkles in it. So it has like very pretty reflection. So I'll also have to go back in and try applying it as a highlighter on like the high points of my face. What I'm gonna use is the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. I like to use this when I'm testing out like glowy products because this doesn't have any sort of glow to it. It's not like a dewy foundation. So I'll really be able to see if there's any actual illumination shining through. And then just blending this in with my beauty blender, which look at this giant hole and giant chunk missing out of my beauty blender now. Oh, I probably got this at like the beginning of the year and I know that's longer than you're supposed to keep them, but I felt like I was taking really good care of it. I was washing it every time but that could be why it got so worn and I'm so surprised that like it really didn't last very long, that now it's broken and pretty much unusable, but I just like haven't accepted the fact that I need to get rid of it because this beauty blender was so expensive. I do love the Real Techniques sponge though, so I have that that I can just use instead. It's just hard to let go because I loved this beauty blender so much. It was like such a game changer for me when it came to applying foundations. Okay, my foundation is applied and I really feel like I can see some illumination in my skin and I really feel like my skin looks glowy. Like this foundation does have a glow to it, which this foundation on its own does not. 
So I'm really happy with how this is looking. I'm also really happy with how well it blended on top and the foundation is really staying nicely on top of this. My texture of my pores is looking pretty smooth and my skin does look very hydrated. And I'm really loving that my skin just looks like it has a glow. Like it doesn't look greasy and wet. It just looks like glowy and a bit like highlighted and shimmery, which is what I want in like a strobing cream. I'm surprised that this worked so well. I've been having a lot of like hit or misses with NYX lately, but this one so far is a hit. Let's go ahead and apply it as a liquid highlighter. Also, a little bit goes such a long way. Like that one pump was more than enough to do my whole face. So this really is going to last for so long. So at first I was like $16 is a little pricey for this. I probably would have rather spent around $10, but since you do definitely get your money's worth out of every drop, I think $16 is okay considering the size. I'm just kind of applying it everywhere first to let it start drying down. Wow, I even feel like I just took too much for highlighting and I did like such a tiny little drop on the back of my hand. All right, let's just blend this in a little bit. Okay, so I feel like I applied a pretty thick layer of this Away We Glow strobing cream onto the high points of my face and down the center. And it's very subtle, the amount of highlight and like strobing effect that it gives. So my skin does look dewy, but it definitely doesn't look like a very like blinding highlight. And it doesn't look like a super smooth texture on my skin either. It does look a little cakey and it does seem to have moved my foundation. So as pretty as the gold shimmer is of this strobing cream, I definitely prefer it underneath my makeup rather than on top because it doesn't sit very well on makeup, but it does sit very nicely underneath my makeup. But that's saying for my skin personally. So let me know if you've tried this, how it works for you. So yeah, I'm really liking the glow that I have to my skin right now. I would like to go in with that Away We Glow highlighting palette and add some powdered highlighter onto my cheekbones. But other than that, I like how my skin's looking. I like the texture. I like that it doesn't look oily, but it looks very glowy. And I'm not having any issues with creasing and where I'm really dry on my chin. It's looking very hydrated. I'm really happy that today was a successful NYX product for me, for the most part. It wasn't great as an on top highlighter, but I really like it for underneath my makeup, so I'm considering it a success. Thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.